Hey everybody, I'm here in the airport, not in the airport, I'm in the bus station in Ankara, Turkey right now. And as you can see, if you look right over here, this uh, officer's been staying there for quite some time. And uh, he's there for me. Here in Ankara, the bus station is not very full. And because of that, they are able to plant people around the station to keep track of me. This is the area where you book tickets. And they know that if I'm booking a ticket, I always book my tickets at the last minute, therefore I'm planning to go somewhere. And the reason why I'm making this video is because when I first came upstairs, when I first came upstairs, this police officer was not standing there. Only after I came upstairs did he come here. Also, I went to window 40 to book a, um, to book a ticket going to another city in Turkey. And shortly after I came up there, about six police officers appeared out of nowhere and came up to where these um, two guys are standing and they waited. Why were they waiting? They were waiting because they were hoping that I booked my ticket and after I booked my ticket they were gonna pull me aside, ask me for my identification and also see where I am intending on traveling. The reason why they're gonna do this is because they probably have difficulty tapping into all of the booths here. Why do they have difficulty doing that? They have difficulty doing it because there's so many booths around here. There are over 20 booths where you can go. Well, actually, there are over 40 booths where you can go and uh, buy a ticket. And it's very difficult for them to know which booth I will be going to when I decide to buy a ticket. So that's the reason why they were standing right behind me in line. They pretended to ask these two people a question about something but they were really waiting on me. Why would you come up to two strangers who are trying to buy a ticket and start talking to them about random bullshit? Why would you do that? You would do that because you're trying to make it seem like you're there for them when you're really there for me. But you know what? I kind of stopped making videos at the same intensity, but I'm going to have to start back making these videos. Because whenever I see uh, these problems that get ready to spiral out of control, I need to remind myself that this would be great evidence. I don't give a damn who sees it. Sometimes you have to get like that. It's sad to know that this is the reality of my situation, but at the same time, I've brought it up on myself. I haven't finished writing the book that God told me to write. I haven't finished doing the blog that he told me to do. But, yeah. Nevertheless, I'm going to make sure that my cam camera is always ready, and I'm going to make sure that my recorder is always 